Hello everyone, this is a review on the GE Top Load Washer model GTW335ASN1WW. This is a non high efficiency top load washing machine uh, manufactured by General Electric. It retails for around $470 ish dollars. And I want to tell you the pros and cons I found with using this machine for about three months. Um, first, the water level is lower than you would expect considering the depth of the tub but if you compare this depth to a washing machine of old it's about the same this is about the depth you're going to get about 12 and a half inches and it's going to fill to this second row of holes which to me is deep enough for the standard load if you load your items no higher than the second row of holes here then you're going to be washing in the same amount of water you would have with an older machine. But if you fill it to the top of the drum, you're going to have clothes that are on the top and they're not going to be fully submerged. <clears throat> uh, so that's your decision as to how full you were to fill it. But that's the maximum amount of water you're going to get. It's going to be slightly lower than this if you use the standard normal cycle. I'll show that in a minute. but. Uh, this is a this is a single action agitator. It has paddle baffles on the side with holes drilled in it. And one of the cons to this is the fabric softener dispenser. If you remove the fabric softener dispenser, let's see if I can get the camera, I'll show you. The fabric softener is released out of the bottom. It comes out under the agitator sides here. Now that's great for not staining your clothes because it's mixed with water. The con to this is, this will get pretty dirty. I clean it uh, once a month using a brush. It's actually much more difficult to clean than the dual action model which is raised with the holes where you can just wipe it out with a rag. So if your hands are skinny or thick and you can't get your hand down in that to clean, that's going to get gunked up pretty quick and those holes down there in the bottom are going to get blocked. Now this machine's only been three months so I can't tell you exactly and I clean it often and I also dilute the detergent the fabric softener when I run it but I can see that being a problem for people who just fill it with straight concentrate and let it go. Especially if you're using a hot cycle with no, deter with no uh, fabric softener it may dispense just off of the hot water on items you did not want having fabric softener. So I have that as a, a con. Let's see. But, um, okay, so if we look at the control panel here, one of the negatives I see with this unit is its wash action speed. Now, one would think between deep clean, lights heavy, medium, that the wash action would change depending on the cycle you select but that's not actual fact this machine only has two speeds high and slow delicates is the tri-pulse which you can see in some of my other videos is very gentle uh, some would even question whether or not it's actually cleaning anything because it's so slow uh, I haven't had a problem with it it seems to clean the delicates I put in it fine especially on a lower water level <clears throat> but that's the only delicate cycle so if you have delicate casuals that aren't extremely delicate but they're your business attire or etc you put it on casuals it's going to wash the same as it would on deep clean it'll wash for a different period and there will be no soak and it'll finish faster but you're still going to be beating it the same strength you are with deep clean heavy bulky items and especially on bulky items, if you're washing a comforter, you're going to be hitting it with the same force deep clean will be. You can wash your bulky items on delicate, but the delicate spin speed is much faster than the bulky speed, so you might have a problem with the machine going off balance. Another concern that people have with this machine is the water temperature. I don't find it a problem. Whites, the hot, is a higher temperature than would be on normals, colors, casuals it the temperature the computer changes the temperature based on the cycle selection I believe 
Deep Clean is the same as White's Heavy as far as hot, but colors, the hot is not going to be as hot as hot. Uh, and that goes with all the other ones. Warm on colors is more lukewarm than it is on White's Heavy. Some people might consider the White's Heavy warm to be hot, etc. The precise fill changes very minimally how much water comes in based on the cycle selection. Normal, medium, and colors are going to be the least amount of water, more on all the rest. So that's a little uh, confusing to some. Uh, also, if you're using fabric softener, you must have this selected. This will stay selected if you turn the knob. However, if you run a cycle such as White's Medium, run the cycle using deep rinse, and the cycle finishes, you open the machine, take your clothes out, start it on the same cycle, but instead want to run it on high, this will light up, this will be off. You will have to re-push it. If you turn the knob, that will come back on on its own. <coughs> now, in the machine itself, the reason I am sending this unit back are these paddle baffles on the side. I broke two comforters with these they have broken the baffles inside the comforter and forced the polyfill, you know, lop, lopsided because it's too strong and the delicate cycle is too weak to clean anything. So this is going back for the dual action model, which even on a higher agitation profile, this will be slick. It won't be, there's nothing to catch. So the turnover is going to be greater with the larger items than with this, but this is great for cleaning your heavy duty, uh, standard heavyweight cotton shirts, jeans, etc. This unit really cleans well overall, and it's it seems to be a strong performer. Uh, but those are a few of the cons I would say. Another con I noticed is this fabric, this bleach dispenser. I can fill this with bleach; it'll pour through on its own. But it will also run down the outside of the tub on the inside. It's like it overflows somehow and bleach will come down. That may be a concern if you're afraid of bleach directly touching a garment. So what I will do sometimes is start the washing machine, fill this with bleach, and you can rotate the tub to rinse down the sides quick and dilute the bleach fast. Or you can wait until the machine's full of water and put in your bleach. But uh, overall, I would recommend this unit just not to people who are washing larger comforters because it most likely will break the baffling and I would not recommend it to people like me who wear a lot of casual clothes that do not need extreme agitation measures to get clean there's only two speeds on this model and the model that I ordered which is the GTW465 ASN 1WW has the same two speeds you either have slow or regular speed but the dual action aspect of the agitator makes this less abrasive. So that's why I've ordered that. This is only a 4.2 capacity. The other 4.2 capacity dual action was discontinued, so I had to go with the 4.5, even though I did not need it. Uh, but I'll do a review on that when that system gets here. It should be here tomorrow. I'm not sure with the coronavirus if it'll be delayed. But if it comes tomorrow, I'll start posting videos on its wash performance. But from other videos on YouTube, I think it will suit my needs much better than this system will. Thankfully, the store I purchased it from understood, and they will take this unit back.